very sad news. Officials in Pascal County, Florida, north of Tampa, have confirmed that the plane that was down where there was one person dead is, in fact, former Major League pitcher Roy Halladay, the two-time Cy Young Award winner. Roy Halladay was 40 years old. I'm Darwin Zook with the MLB.com FastCast. The baseball world was stunned on Tuesday due to the passing of two-time Cy Young Award winner Roy Halladay. The 40-year-old died in a plane accident crashing into the Gulf of Mexico off the Florida coast. It's a sad day for us here in Pasco County. It's a sad day for Tampa Bay. It's a sad day for anybody who loves Major League Baseball, but it's an even sadder day for the family. We know Roy as a person, as a, a caring husband who loved his wife, Brandy. He loved his two boys tremendously. He was a part of our sheriff's office. He was there whenever we needed him. Being a pilot, flying planes, that was his passion. He was one in a million. It is a true loss for us. An eight-time All-Star, Halliday spent 12 seasons with the Toronto Blue Jays, finishing second in franchise history with 148 wins and 1,495 strikeouts, and third with a 3.43 ERA while winning a Cy Young Award in 2003. Between 2001 and 2011, I mean, he was second in wins and whip and ERA. He had 30 more complete games than anybody else during that time. Every definition of a great pitcher he was that he's a hall of fame pitcher no question about that what his teammates what his managers what his coaches what the people who knew him best are going to remember him for is this is that he had a charitable heart he spent his final four seasons with the phillies winning another cy young award in 2010 and representing the team twice as an all-star he also pitched only the second no hitter in postseason history in 2010 I mean, man, this is, it's, it's been a tough couple hours, uh, you know, for my family and I, um, you know, Heidi and I have, you know, a lot of, you know, great, great moments and connections because of baseball and Roy and Brandy and his two boys, Ryan and Braden, you know, they, they are a part of our life and, and the moments that we've lived so far in this great game. It's very, very unfortunate, and you know I know these things do happen, but you don't know how you're going to feel in those moments, uh, you know, especially for somebody that's you know touched my life, my teammates' lives, these fans. Uh, this is he's, he's a tremendous person that is going to be missed. Gold Glove winners were announced Tuesday night in the American League. The Royals, Twins, and Angels each had a pair of winners as Alex Gordon took home his fifth award at left field and Eric Hosmer his fourth at first base, while Brian Dozier and Byron Buxton each collected their first at second base and center field. Angelton Simmons won his third at shortstop, while Martin Maldonado won his first at catcher. Other AL winners include Evan Longoria winning his third, Mookie Betts his second, and Marcus Stroman his first. In the National League, the Rockies and D-backs each had two winners as Nolan Arenado and DJ LeMahieu took their fifth and second awards respectively, while Paul Goldschmidt and Zach Greinke won their third and fourth awards. Brandon Crawford rounds out the infield with his third, Jason Hayward added to his collection with his fifth, and Duran Ciarte won his second, while Marcelo Zuna and Tucker Barnhart each won their first. For more on these stories and complete coverage from around Major League Baseball, keep it locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.